Hi everyone, it's me again, Jules. I'm back for another video. Um, I will be posting a video that I did just a few minutes ago on um, kind of like an introduction to a cleanse that I'm going to be doing starting tomorrow. And it's from the Nectar Juice um, Cleanse System. So if you guys are interested in that, please look out for that video. And also please look out for follow-up um, videos that I'll be posting in the next few days as I go through the cleanse and um, I'll be describing exactly how I'm liking it and how I'm feeling um, from it so yeah so this one is um, this particular video is going to be on a new palette that I got um, about a couple of weeks ago but I didn't review it just yet because I wanted to give um, some time to try it so that is the Stila palette in the No. Um, so I'll be reviewing that in just a minute. But also I wanted to introduce some a couple more other things that I'm going to be reviewing tonight um, on a separate video. And it's going to be on several um, velour, velour mink lashes. So I have a few. I got a few of them um, in the mail today. I also already own four or five pairs, um, so I'm going to be including those in that review. And finally, I'm going to be reviewing my Mimi Super Box number one. Um, I finally got it. Oh, it took forever, but you know I'm so glad that it came. Um, yeah, so stay tuned for those if you're interested. Um, so back to the Stila palette. Um, I got this from Ulta during their 21 Days of Beauty and they had a deal for it for like, it was only like $20 when it's normally between, I would say $38 to $45. Um, I'll put the information, the correct information down below, but it's within that range. So I was pretty tempted to get it because I already own the Stila In The Light palette, which I will incorporate in this review because I don't think I ever actually reviewed this one um but yeah so i love this palette so much the in the light palette that when i saw this come out as a, a beauty steal i thought oh my god i have to get it because i love this one so much i will probably repurchase this for the rest of my life and if they ever discontinue it i'd probably cry <laughs> that's how much i love it but um yeah, so I guess I will get started on this one because I love it so much. Um, it, this is going to be in the same price range. And when I opened it, this is kind of used up a lot. Um, so I apologize for that. But um, it looks like this. And it has 10 um, really, really beautiful neutral shade. And I'm going to cover the mirror because it's flashing, you guys. And I actually don't like bending it back, and that's why I never do. <laughs> but anyway, actually, I'm going to do it tonight. <laughs> it doesn't bother me so much tonight. Um, but yeah, so it looks like this. Um, all the names of the shadows are at the bottom of each shadow. And I know they're so tiny, you probably can't um, see it. But the reason why I love this palette so much is because the colors are so pigmented so smooth so finely milled um all the colors are wearable you could do night day midday i don't know i mean it's so beautiful and i didn't think that i would like this because i don't normally like stila products um but i did get a sample card of this entire palette from sephora one time and you know i got bored one night and i started using it and i could not believe how good it was that I went straight back into Sephora and bought the palette itself. So, so I'm going to quickly swatch them for you. Um, if I were to rate this palette, it would be like out of 10, it would probably like a 20. I'm not exaggerating. It's freaking awesome. Um, but yeah, so the first one is called Bear, which is this color. And that looks like this. Oh, sorry. I didn't do that very well. And the color is like that. So this is like the perfect brow bone color for me. Um, the next one I, is Kitten. So I think a lot of people 
are familiar with this particular shade. I think this is what Stila is pretty much known for. And this is so pigmented, it's ridiculous. So that's Kitten. The next one is called Bliss, which is this one right here. And I use this a lot as my uh, contour shade. And that's that one. So it's that perfect gray, brownish gray color, which I love. Um, this is my next favorite. Uh, my first favorite is this one right here, just to kind of mention it. And this is my second favorite. That one is called Sunset, and it looks like that. And this is such a beautiful color. It might be too bright in the kitchen. <laughs> um, hopefully you can see that. And the next one is Sandstone, which is this shade right here. And it looks like this. And that color. So those are the top shades. I'll go over them again. Um, this is Bear. This is Kitten. This one is Bliss. This is Sunset, and this is Sandstone. So I'm going to take those out and then go over the bottom ones. So the next one is called Bubbly. This is my third favorite. It's so pretty. Looks like that. It's just your um, light golden shimmery shade. And my favorite is Gilded Gold right here. I don't know, every time I wear this, I just have like the perfect um, smoky look after I put it on. And it looks like that. So it's not too like strong of a color, but it's enough to give you like that really kind of reddish brown um, look. The next one is Luster, which I don't really use very much, but it looks like this. It's like a, a like one of the darkest brown with gold glitters on it. It's like so dark that it's almost black, but it's not completely black. The next one is Night Sky. It's like a grayish um, shade, and it looks like this. This is actually really pretty too has that you know metallic gray blue color and then the last one is the black one which I don't use at all but it's so it's so black I mean you could you could definitely use it as like a, an eyeliner almost so that's just a light swatch so I'll go over it again this is a um, bubbly gilded gold this is a uh, luster night sky and ebony so so that is the in the light palette um again it's within 38 to 45 dollar they're they both cost the same so i'll definitely put the um the correct amount below but i absolutely love this palette <laughs> i know i said that all the time so i am going to stop talking about it and go to the next one so um, oh, just to mention, this one has about one, two, there's about four matte shades in here, which is this, this one right here, um, this one, and the black one. And everything else is shimmery. So the next one is the Indino palette. It looks like this. And same thing. Um, oh, I forgot to tell you that it comes with an eyeliner. So the other palette came with like a black eyeliner and this one came with like a, a dark brown. So I'm going to swatch this one. Yeah, it's like a grayish brown color, which I haven't tried yet. The other one is just like black, so I'm not even going to bother looking for it. But these are the Stila Smudge Stick Waterproof Eyeliner, and they run for like $18 a piece. So for this palette being $38 to $45, I mean, it's so cheap, right? 
Um, anyways, this one is um, kind of a similar setup. There's 10 eyeshadows. The names are at the bottom. And the other thing that it comes with is like a lookbook. So they come with like tiny booklets like this. And it gives you um, different looks that you could do. But I usually just throw these away because, you know, I don't really bother much with them. But um, back to the In The Know palette. Um, so I'm going to say that when I first got this palette, I was pretty disappointed, right? Because when I got into the colors, I realized that they are all matte shades. And they're really like those really flat matte. Like no shimmer, no nothing. Not even like a, a gleam to it. It's just completely matte. I'm pretty sure you could see that there's like no shimmer there. So I was so disappointed because I was having the hardest time working with it. Or rather... The colors were just too matte for me, and I was um, when I when I first used this, I was actually going out at night, so I was really looking for like a little bit of shimmer. So I took out this palette and I just kind of used them together, um, and then after I started using this with this, I felt pretty satisfied with it. I mean, initially, if if probably if I didn't have this palette to kind of supplement. Um, the colors in here I probably would have returned this but the fact that you know I have shimmery eyeshadows from Urban Decay and like things like this it made me realize that it, it actually is kind of nice to have an all matte palette like this so that you know you can just bring this anywhere with you along with other palettes that has a lot of like shimmery shadows and this would like complement it very well because you have you know quite a bit of like a different range of colors in here. You have like a reddish color, you have all your browns and neutrals, you have your gray, your black, your dark brown, and you have your bone color. So um, yeah, initially I was disappointed, but now I'm actually pretty satisfied with it. Although I probably wouldn't go anywhere and with just this palette alone, I'd have to have something else with it because without supplementary colors, like shimmery colors to um, use in conjunction with this. This is a kind of a boring palette. But um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and swatch it just so I could show you. Um, the first one is, oopsie. The first one is called Air and it looks like this. So it's that. It's pretty similar to that bone color from the other palette. And then the next one is called Wind, which is just a tad bit more beige than the first one. And it looks like that. So as you can see, this one has like a, a pink tone to it, whereas this has like more of a, a beige undertone. And then this one is called Desert, which I used a lot too as a, um, a, a transition color. And it looks like this. I hope you can see this one. Yeah. So it looks like that. The next one is called um, Clay. And this one is more of like a mauvey brown like a light mauvey brown it has like that pink like a a pink brown tint to it um, and then the next one is called earth which is this dark brown and there you go so I'll go over it one more time this one is air wind this is desert this is clay, and this is earth. So I'll go ahead and take that off and go over the bottom ones. So the next one is called driftwood. It looks like this. And swatches like that. The next one is what the, my favorite color in this palette. It's called fire. 
which is very appropriate and it looks sorry I'm not flicking you off <laughs> looks like that and has like that really nice brick color to it ah! almost fell <laughs> the next one is called rain which is this color which I don't get why it's called rain um, it doesn't really look like a rain to me but it's like this it's like a grayish brown the next one is a gray color it's called smoke and it looks like this and looks like that and lastly it's ebony again so I'm not gonna swatch ebony anymore because you know what that looks like from the other palette um, but yeah so that's what this palette is um, so overall um, again, I'm very happy, very, very happy with In The Light palette. And I also do like the In The Know palette now, but I wouldn't like it by itself. I'd have to have something um, to use with it. So, um, but overall, staying power on these eyeshadows are pretty good. They don't stay like all day without a primer. And um, I did use it one time without a primer. And it kind of faded off like... Um, at least this palette it kind of faded off uh, maybe halfway through my day but with with a primer it stays on pretty well this one though however <laughs> it does stay on pretty long with and without a primer so probably why I love it even more so yeah so these are the two Stila palettes I think they have two other ones one's in a, a green cover and also one in a purple cover but um I never really kind of checked it out so maybe in the future I'll be buying those depending on um, the colors the shades that are in it but yeah if you have any questions please um, leave a comment below if you like this video subscribe or if you want to keep yeah. following me please subscribe um, and again I have the velour eyelashes um, to review next and also my Mimi Vox Super Vox one and if you're interested in um, watching my um, introduction to my clans, please check that out as well and all the other videos that I've posted so far. So thanks, thanks again for um, everybody that's supporting and watching and subscribing. Um, I hope that the videos that I'm posting are being helpful to you guys. And yeah, again, if you have any questions, please um, let me know and I'd be more than happy to respond. Have a good night and I'll see you next time. Bye!